In this demonstration, I'll be carving the individual feathers in a portion of a blue-winged teal drake's wing. Um, I'd like to show the carving um, from the shaping of each of the feather groups. Um, there's some depth that I'll be carving into these loosely open feathers of this blue-winged teal drake's wing. Um, so I'll be doing this in a few different steps so that I can show the different processes of carving, sanding, texturing, wood burning, and then painting. This is a uh, two and a half inch by three and a half inch um, by just about half inch thick Tupelo ACO blank that I'll be using to uh, carve this uh, demonstration. You can see this is the area that I'm emulating. So my first job is going to be doing some feather group shaping and I'll be using a putting some uh, contour into this wooden block. I need to take away some wood so that I can show some depth. Now I'm turning on my SMC Tornado 1000 and I'll be using my uh, Geshwin Power Hand 3 with a Tungsten Carbide uh, cross bud shaped cross cutter. It's a 332 inch shaft. Now these feathers here I'm gonna carve way down to the edge here so that these feathers that are coming out from the wing and curving around <clears throat> will have some room to to actually stick out. So the first thing I need to do is define these feathers. So, or these groups. So the first thing I'm going to do area would be going into the uh, breast of the rest of the duck. And the wings actually <clears throat> pushing out from the body. Cutter works well in removing a large amount of wood in a very short amount of time. You're doing the same thing underneath the front of the wing, into the breast feathers also, being pushed out from the body.
get a nice smooth shape. Curve going from the body, which is basically the point that I'm at. underneath the front here, just getting this to be a nice smooth transition. These are just feathers riding up on the very front of the wing inside the side pocket and pushing out. So, with that part completed, the next part that I know is the highest part will be these feathers that are coming out from the wing and curving around. So I'm going to raise them up considerably right here. Raise a little bit flatter towards this back feather here. And as it goes into the front, These feathers sticking out <clears throat> considerably more. some of my drawing so I don't lose it. It's fresh in my mind. feathers as well need to be lifted up by carving down. So
can recall, these are curved because they're coming out from the body there. different levels that are starting to happen here. And this is pretty flat against the next set of feathers underneath of it, so I'm just going to barely define it. feathers are the same as these but they're almost sticking straight out so they're very difficult to see by the pencil lines that I've drawn on here. I am going to switch over to my diamond. It's a diamond flame. It's got a flatter side not the bulbous side. me to further carve depth into these feathers that are going to be standing out individually from the wing. enough so that I'll be able to undercut and have a curve to 
this feather as it coming away from the body and the wing actually not the body and I'm contouring the next feather underneath of it that it will be separated away from in the end Establish my line before I go any further so I do not get off track. Of the feather the way I want it to be. Right now it's still got some flat areas to it and I don't want to undercut until I get this all shaped correctly with its contour. deeper I get more wood up here to contour. Besides I know I need to go deeper anyway. I'm gonna want to do some undercutting. to the highest point of each individual feather. And that's going to be places like right here and here and here and here. Because that feather is going to curve a little bit further towards the inside, or towards the wing. at the tip. So by rounding right up to that X on each one of these feathers, I've created some loft to that feather. And once 
that's achieved, then you can start thinking about undercutting. See, I'll go to the back edge. Contour of this feather.